Welcome back to the Rum Brothers channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we have a special rum that we're trying. What what do we, what do we got today? Well, first off, <laughs> it's a whiskey, but you know, <laughs> it's you know, it's a whiskey. It's after dark whiskey from India. It is a premium grain spirit whiskey. Do we know where in India? Rampur. This bottle is really cool. Uh, you can see the the city lights and the buildings. And what's neat, because the, the color of the whiskey is you know kind of that amber and it, it's like the color of the windows. It's pretty neat. Hey, that's pretty neat. And it comes in this nice tube and has a nice little uh, written poem thing on the back. Dylan, would you read it for us? Some nights unfold differently. Let them take you to another world and savor the fine taste of this spirit whiskey and the rare spontaneity it brings. After Dark Premium Grain Spirit Whiskey. That's quite a title there. Premium Grain Spirit Whiskey. I don't think I've come across that. So, so a grain spirit whiskey means it's not good. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, rye is a grain, right? I mean, grain is like everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, like corn is a grain. Oh, okay. Just, when they say uh, grain, they might as well be You sound really smart. Well, people don't watch us for the smart. Before I forget, shout out to Esquire, our boys at Esquire Liquors for hooking us up with this. Let's uh, give it a whirl and a nose, shall we? All right, shout them out. What do we? What do we smell? That's actually not too unpleasant. I mean, that's it's got a it's got a certain sweetness to it. A little bit of an alcohol, but it's not burning. You can yeah. smell exactly, but it's not gonna burn. It's not burning my nostrils. So I'm intrigued to see what what it tastes like. Do we have any sort of idea on the aging on this? I mean, sometimes no. it's hard to, to ascertain that from some companies, but... No, it... this is non-age stated, so it okay. is not clear. Uh, a little bit of malt. Most whiskeys from India, I don't know if it's all whiskeys, but I know most of them are in the Scotch style. Yeah, so kind of probably a... Like a it, 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 it smells like an unpeated Scotch. That's yeah. probably the best way to yeah. describe it. That's true. All right, ready for a taste? Yes. All right. Asalu. Oh, there's peat there. Oh, yeah. It's surprising you don't get any peat on the nose. <laughs> that is a peat there. Guy named Pete. He's right there. It's got a little it's sweetness. Y it's young. Yeah. You can tell this is a blend. You can tell it's blended with probably a grain spirit that's not aged. My guess is it's a barrel of scotch blended with neutral grain spirit or something. Okay to cut down the ABV from cask strength. That's my guess. So, well, depending on the price, this isn't too bad. Um, I know scotch cocktails aren't the biggest thing, but um, it'd be, it's a good mixing scotch-like equivalent. Yeah, it's kind of like, so Seagram 7 is a similar thing where it's only like 30-40% actual whiskey and then the rest is a neutral grain spirit. This could be what that is. Um, now after I've tasted it, I do get the peat on the nose. Yeah. So Price, what are we looking at? I actually don't remember. <laughs> I, anyway, it's pretty good. <laughs> I would pay like around 20 for this. I think it is around 20. We will uh, hopefully find out by the time this airs and I will dis will display how much it costs right here. Well, so overall we think it's a good whiskey for what it is, a uh, affordable price point. We, we all think. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Pay for that? People in the comments were like, we paid $200 for this where I come from. Uh, but we, <laughs> but uh, we enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching and join us next time for another spirit review. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join us next time, won't you?